Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if, if you have 2019, if you've ever noticed this little gear thing here, they've added a few things to 19 over X8 and even X6. They keep making it better and better. If you so right now it has my information about this ellipse. It's 7.33 by 7.333. The center is you know, it's just got a little information on it, but you can click right here and you could go cursor coordinates and it's going to read where your cursor is. I don't see us ever using that in a laser engraving, but you can also see tool hints. You know, what you're selected on, click on an object twice, rotate, oops, skewing, double click tool, alternate click digs, alternate click select in all group, it tells you information. Well, in eight, it doesn't have that gear thing, but it does have this little arrow, and it gives you the same thing. You can have the, the detail of your item that you've clicked on. We have a rectangle. The height is 10.12. Uh, the width is 18, but you can click on this right here and change to cursor position. I still don't see why we would ever use that. But information, so it's a hint. I've changed it now to hints. But in 2000 and in X6, we have that same arrow, but we only have two, two options. Details about it. It's an ellipse. You know, it's it's 11.559 by 11.559. So you can either have that or your cursor position. So in 19, they've added and, and put a gear thing there. It's pretty cool. I keep mine on this. Uh, I don't really ever even look at it, to be honest with you. I definitely don't use, well, I could use the tool hints. Every once in a while, because every tool, it's going to give you a hint. You know, the rectangle tool, the magnifying glass, click, zooms, right click, shift click, zooms out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.